What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Dash Reacts and today let's check out another South Park episode from season 15. This is Human Centipede. Let's do it. Oh my god, isn't it awesome having an iPad, you guys? IPads. Hey baby, where's your iPad? Oh right, you're not cool enough. <laughs> hey, hey, you see my iPad token? Funny, you don't seem to have one. I thought your family was rich. Oh, what should I do on my iPad next? Think I'll email some of my friends. Oh no, wait, maybe I'll download some more cool apps. Tom Saltzman says you just glued a piece of glass to an iPad cover and you're faking it. Called him out. Tom Saltzman's dad is an alcoholic who drinks and drives. He's the one who ran over Joey Potts' dog because Joey Potts doesn't know how to take care of his animals, which is why he gets beat by his mom. <laughs> just let us see your iPad, Cartman. No, because the battery's dead, it just ran out of power. So plug it in. I left my charger at home. I'm gonna go home and charge my iPad and bring it tomorrow and you guys are gonna feel really stupid. <laughs> well, good going, Mom. You've completely screwed me over. What happened, Derek? You said I had to wait till my birthday to get an iPad. So the one I rubbed in everyone's faces today isn't real, and tomorrow everyone's gonna call me a liar. Would you mind loaning me some of your lipstick, Mom? Because I want to at least look pretty the next time you decide to fuck me! <sighs> that boy. Oh, uh, yeah, Apple stuff's pretty neat, all right. I just don't want any big company tracking where I am at all times. Ah, that's just a rumor. They don't really track you. Hello, Kyle. We're from <laughs> Apple. We're all ready for you now. What? Ready for what? To fulfill the agreement. Can we get a weight, please? 83 pounds, sir. What agreement? 83 pounds. Good. Let's get the blood work. Hey, you can't do that. You agreed we could take all the blood we needed. What are you talking about? When you downloaded the last iTunes update, a window on your screen popped up and asked you if you agreed to our terms and conditions. You clicked agree. Man, South Park hits on all the big issues. How many times have you looked at a company's terms of service without really reading them and just click that agree box? I know I have. A lot of times we just want to get to using the thing without really paying attention to what they're saying. All right, let's get them to the water tank. The water tank? I'm not going with you. You've agreed to all of this. Hey! Wow. You guys, you got to help me. These business casual G-men are trying to kidnap me. They're saying it's because I agreed to the latest terms and conditions on iTunes. Why? What did the terms and conditions for the last update say? I don't know. I didn't read them. Right? You didn't read them? Who the hell reads that entire thing every time it pops up? I do. Me too. You're telling me that every time you guys download an update for iTunes, you read the entire terms and conditions? Of course. Well, how do you know if you agree to something if you don't read it? Dad! Dad, I need a lawyer! Kyle, what are you doing here? Well, Kyle, it's always the agreeing party's responsibility to know what they are signing. But it's like eight pages long and they send me a new one like every three weeks. How can they know if Calm I... Calm down, Kyle. It's okay. You're safe with Daddy. Hey, what the heck is going on? Your son has made a binding and legal agreement with Apple, sir. Apple's inner workings are top secret to all users. You know how it is. No, I don't know how it is. I use a <laughs> PC. You <laughs> what? Come on, let's go. <laughs> hey, now, let him go. Ah! You tasered my dad! You said we could. You said we could. This one, this one. Oh, sweetie, $900? Best buy. I can't wait to see the look on Kyle's stupid face when he sees my iPad has more memory than his. Eric, we can't afford that one. Well, you don't expect me to get the Wi-Fi only 16 gig version, do you? Mom, everyone knows that everything but Apple is stupid. Here, look at wow. this one. Toshiba Handybook. Eric, stop acting like a spoiled brat. You can either have the Toshiba Handybook or you can have nothing at all. Tell him, Mom. Why don't you go across the street and buy some condoms? Because we should at least be safe if you're gonna fuck me, Mom. You might as well go buy some cigarettes, too. Because I like to have a smoke after I get good and fucked. <laughs> you wanna fuck your son so bad? Go on, Mom. Fuck me. Fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, if you kept acting up, you weren't getting anything. But I told good. you I was sorry. You made me look like some sort of child in front of all those people. I wasn't trying to get you in trouble. Then why did you go outside to a police officer and say, help, help, my mom is trying to fuck me? Oh, wait, I get it now. The F word is a no-no word, and I shouldn't say it around other people. You don't get it at all, you little brat. If you're really sorry, then you'll understand why you aren't getting anything. That doesn't really have any logical sense, Mommy, because I'm already being punished by not getting the iPad. Can we just go back and get the Toshiba handy book? No! <laughs> You agreed to the iTunes terms and conditions too? I just clicked agree. I didn't read it. I was in a hurry, you see, and, and I, I, I didn't know what I was agreeing.
agreeing to? I can't even read Agrius. <laughs> hey, <laughs> shut up in there. I agree by accident. You can't agree by accident. Even if you click on agree, another little window pops up that says, are you sure you agree? And you have to click <laughs> on agree again. Yeah. We didn't read them. <laughs> right. Who just agrees to something they don't read? <laughs> These three people have agreed to be brought here, handcuffed to these beds, and become the prototype of our first truly interface device. They have actually agreed to be surgically altered. Their lips will be removed, and they will be sewn together mouth to anus. What? You agree to this, mouth to anus, feces from the gastral tract from one will enter the mouth of the little boy, and he agreed this was okay, Enter the mouth of the little boy, leading through his anus to the mouth of the female, making a product that is part human and part centipede and part web <laughs> browser and part emailing device. I give you the human Sentai Pad. Sentai Pad. Okay. Okay. Oh, I should have never updated the iTunes. This is awesome. Can somebody please explain to me what is going on? We're trying to find out exactly what Kyle agreed to. By clicking agree, you are also acknowledging that Apple may show your mouth to the butthole of another iTunes user. <laughs> oh boy. Apple and its subsidiaries may also, if necessary, show yet another person's mouth onto your butthole, making you a being that shares one gastral tract. Hmm. I'm gonna click on decline. <laughs> Good buddies. The only way we can fix all this is by going to the highest authority on the planet. We're gonna have to ask help from the geniuses. The geniuses. <laughs> if there really was an anus being stitched to your mouth, Claus, we wouldn't know because we don't read it. South Park is dropping bobs in this episode. Looks good, guys. Great work. <laughs> Nanda! Nanda Kore! So he said, Nanda! Nanda Kore! What? What's this? I remember when the first version of the iPad came out. People couldn't believe how easy it was to take their videos, music, and photos, and all their shit, and share it with other people who could do oh. the same with all their shit. The only thing the iPad couldn't do was walk or read. Until now. <laughs> Fine, you don't want to be part of this, then just sign right here. No, you didn't read it! <laughs> this says we don't ever have to let you out and then we can do whatever we want! It's probably low on power. We should feed it. I will not eat if they are forced to eat on my pool. It's a bean and cheese burrito from Paco's. <gasps> Sorry, Kyle. I tried to resist, but burrito is a too delicious. <laughs> we have to unveil this thing tomorrow. It better be reading by then. Oh, oh. <laughs> Eric, you say that your mom fucks you? Yes, she fucked me so hard. Dude, Filipino hookers don't get fucked the way I do. Oh. Where was the last time your mother fucked you? At Best Buy. Oh. And people saw her doing this? Yes. And they didn't do anything? No. Eric, you come home right now. <laughs> Ma'am, why do you think it's okay to fuck your son? I don't. She does, she does it all the time. She fucked me on Christmas, she fucked me on my birthday. Oh! You know, Mom, the least you could do is kiss me first, because I like to be kissed before I get fucked. You fuck your son and you won't even give him a kiss? Boo! If I was gonna fuck my son, I'd kiss him first. Now remember, when you speak to the geniuses, keep your questions short and to the point. The geniuses do not like those who waste their time. Hi, my name is Leslie. I'll be your genius. My son was kidnapped by Apple, and they are holding him against his will. Okay, well, I'm sorry you're having trouble with that today. <laughs> Could I have his Apple ID? 69ingchipmunks at me.com. This guy's son was abducted by us? Should I run a stock check or just give him store credit? No, I don't want store credit. I want my son back. <laughs> store credit in place of his son. He actually didn't read the agreement. He didn't read it. Ah, Don't. Can't do this. I'm so sorry, Kairu, but I am starving. 
which would you rather I eat? Should I eat a cuttlefish and asparagus or the vanilla pesto? <laughs> cuttlefish and asparagus? <laughs> I will eat the cuttlefish. <laughs> he ate all of it too. Shh. Come on, hurry. We have an ambulance waiting outside. Try to stay calm. We're gonna have to try and get you separated right away. That the cuttlefish and asparagus is not the sitting well. <laughs> Sign this release so we can operate. No! Damn it! It didn't read it! End simulation! End the simulation! Oh no! Cuttlefish is about to come out of my asshole! Here it comes! Oh, it's going to be a rot! Hold on, Kaido! I believe in you! Sorry, Apple kidnapped your friend, guys, but I believe we have it all cleared up. Yep, we got you a replacement friend. You should be all good to go. Bye, guys. <laughs> no, we don't want a replacement friend. We want our friend. Okay, if you guys just wait here a sec, we're going to have a quickening with the Council of Geniuses. Quickening. Let's see what we can do for you. <laughs> do you know if your friend has a Verizon or AT&T mobile number associated with his .me account? <laughs> <laughs> As part of a clear PR stunt, Apple has joined up with Best Buy and Dr. Phil to donate the first Cintapad to a needy Phil. boy who was raped by his mother. In all my years, I've never heard a more tragic story than that of Eric Cartman. And I want to thank the Apple company for helping us make today a very special day for him. Here is your very own Human Cintapad! <laughs> wow, kid! It does email and web browsing, and it shits in Kyle's mouth? This is the greatest <laughs> thing that has ever been invented! Yes, but can it read? But I'm pretty sure it has finally learned to read, hasn't it? <laughs> what the hell are they doing now? The geniuses are performing the tour on Ra. It's future stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. We can retroactively make your son's agreement invalid. Okay, finally! How do we do that? You'll simply need to join Apple. I don't want to join Apple. I like my PC. But if you join, we can make your son's account into a family account, and then you have to I approve all his agreements. All right, fine. I'll sign up with Apple. Gerald Bravlosky, do you agree to let Apple track your location at all times? I agree. Do you agree to give Apple access to all your personal information? I agree. Do you agree to care about your membership and prove that you care by purchasing Apple Care? <laughs> what do you mean we have to take it apart? The boy's agreement isn't valid. Sorry, we have to recall this. I don't care what the geniuses say. Damn it, I'm trying to create the future here. I'm part of the future now, too. <laughs> I have sat with the Council of Geniuses. Mr. Jobs, you have done so much for the world. You have helped connect everyone to each other. Clearly, this is the future. But, but is can't it? we just slow down and enjoy the present? I agree. Oh! Stop! Guess you won't be eating Japanese food for a while, huh? <laughs> Why did you do this to me, God? Next time you're gonna get my hopes up, could you please take me to a grease monkey? Cause I like to get lubed up before I get fucked! Or at least a courtesy lick, God! How about a little courtesy lick next time you decide to fuck me? Oh, that's what you get. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like that episode. I loved it. Those episodes where South Park is really being over the top, really making you laugh, but at the same time hitting on a real issue. Those have been some of my favorite episodes so far. And I still have a lot of South Park to watch, but this was, this was amazing. And I love when Steve Jobs is talking about sharing videos and photos and sh with other people and how the human sent iPad is, is an actual literal representation of that. I, just a really smart, really funny episode. And they used Apple's ecosystem to kind of highlight how we don't read terms and conditions. Really made me think. But let me know your favorite part in the comments. And if you enjoyed this reaction, please make sure to give this video a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.